the Z statistic and T statistic are introduced in this lesson. They are some of the basic building blocks of business statistics and are needed to construct confidence intervals. We talk about the calculation for these two statistics and the differences between them. Before we study the calculations for confidence intervals, we need to introduce some background stuff, namely two expressions known as the Z statistic and the T statistic. When we covered the central limit theorem in the second course of the specialization, we learned that the central limit theorem is a very important link between a population and a sample. In particular, it says that if we have a population data with some unknown population mean mu and a population standard deviation sigma, and then if we draw a random sample of size n from this population data, then the sample mean of that random sample has a normal distribution with a mean equal to the population mean and a standard deviation equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of sample size. In terms of notation, it is as shown, where x bar is the sample mean, mu is the population mean, sigma is the population standard deviation and n is the sample size. Further, this expression can be mathematically rearranged as shown. Recollect this was discussed when we were studying the normal distribution and its properties in second course of this specialization. The resulting expression which is circled has a standard normal distribution. That is a normal distribution with mean equal to 0 and a standard deviation equal to 1. This expression is also known as the Z statistic. So a Z statistic in the context of a population and a sample from that population where we are interested in inferring something about the population mean is calculated as shown and this Z statistic has a standard normal distribution that is a normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. This z statistic will form the basis of our calculation for a confidence interval for the population mean. Our quantity of interest is the population mean which is unknown and we wish to build a confidence interval for it. However, notice that in using this z statistic, we also have the population standard deviation sigma in the denominator. So what it implies is that if we are going to use the z statistic to build a confidence interval for the unknown population mean, we need to know the population standard deviation. Now if we do not know the mean of population data, it is highly likely that we would not know the standard deviation or variability of the population data also. However, if we are using the Z statistic in our calculation, we do need a value for the population standard deviation, the sigma. So a more realistic scenario is where we do not know the standard deviation or variability of the population data. In such cases, in the calculation for the Z statistic, we replace the population standard deviation sigma with the sample standard deviation small case s. Remember the sample data is something you have access to and hence you can easily calculate the sample standard deviation in Excel using the stdev dot s command. However, the problem comes that when we replace the population standard deviation in the expression for the z statistic with the sample standard deviation, the resultant expression which is x bar minus mu divided by s by square root of n no longer has a standard normal distribution. Rather, this new expression obtained by replacing population standard deviation by the sample standard deviation has a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom, where n is the sample size. There is a derivation behind it which we do not need to know in this course. This new expression is called the t statistic. 
So a T statistic follows a T distribution and in our case here a T distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom where n is the sample size. Remember a T distribution is a continuous symmetric distribution centered at 0 and has a single parameter known as the degrees of freedom. These two expressions the Z statistic and the T statistic will be used in calculating confidence intervals. When do we use the Z statistic and when do we use the T statistic? Whenever we somehow know the standard deviation of the population data, that is a numerical measure of the variability in population data, then we use the Z statistic. Whenever we do not know the population standard deviation and are using the sample standard deviation instead, we use the T statistic. It may be noted that typically in most business applications, we would not know the population standard deviation and hence end up using the t-statistic to construct confidence intervals.